Hey carnivores, today I'm upgrading my knives. I've got some new Dahlstrong Shogun knives and I'm gonna open up and give you my first impressions. Let's experience this together, stick around. Okay, let's talk knives. So if you've watched the channel before, you know that I'm a Dahlstrong fan. You're used to seeing a whole bunch of knives behind me on the wall. I've got them all kind of displayed here, plus a couple extra. I've been using the Dahlstrong Gladiator series knives for years since uh, long before I started the channel. Uh, and I chose them because I tested and I liked the price value performance. So the first uh, knife that I bought for myself was this Gladiator uh, eight inch chef's knife. So this is an all purpose knife. Use it all over the kitchen, whether it's chopping vegetables or you can use it for slicing steaks, etc. right? And really just fell in love with this knife. This knife is German steel, it's heavy. It's a, it, you feel it in your hand. It's got this nice full heel here. So whether you're using a pinch grip uh, like this when you're cutting uh, or any grip, you've got a lot of protection here. If you're new with knives and uh, you're a home chef, you're not gonna have your hand slide where you don't want it to slide. So decent from a safety perspective, uh, relatively easy to sharpen and holds the, uh, the sharpened edge re really well. I started to expand the set. And by the time I started the channel, I had a couple other knives. I had uh, this three and three quarter inch uh, poultry knife. I had this six inch boning knife that's a flexible blade. Uh, of course, I had the fillet knife. You've seen me use this in fish videos. Um, uh, another six inch knife that uh, makes it easy to, with this curved blade, uh, to trim briskets. You've seen me do that and trim big cuts of meat. Uh, of course, the eight inch. Then I got this eight inch Crixus. So this is a cross between a chef's knife and a lightweight cleaver. And I've used it uh, both ways and it works really well. It's not heavy like a cleaver. The weight of the knife isn't gonna make a difference, uh, but it's gonna make quick use out of things like chopping ribs and things of that nature. Uh, of course, with brisket, you need a slicer. So I got the 12 inch slicer from the Gladiator. And then the latest edition, a lot of you have commented on, Leah calls it my pirate sword. This is the 14 inch bullnose slicer and really heavy, really sturdy. It's got the dimples along uh, the blade here so that the meat doesn't stick to it when you're slicing. And uh, you know, frankly, it impresses your friends. And uh, then I picked up the obliterator. So the obliterator is the actual butcher knife. Uh, Leah calls it Bob. That's the only one of the knives that has a name. I know I name all my grills. Uh, but uh, this thing is so powerful that I can't even use it on my booze block here because it actually makes a mark here. So I have to use a cutting board on top of my cutting board table when I use it. This thing is amazing and holds its edge really well. It weighs three pounds, comes with the stand. So fast forward now in the story, I got a whole Serrano ham leg, right? And I needed a knife that was super sharp to cut the ham leg that I wasn't gonna use in the studio that I could leave upstairs for guests. And I decided to splurge on this Shogun series knife. Now this is, uh, I've had this for, I don't know, six months. And you can see it looks very different, much higher end knife. It's still got the full heel here, right? But when you're doing things like slicing Spanish ham, just absolutely razor thin with a blade like this. But I also noticed the blade is a lot harder. It holds the edge, I won't say permanently, right? But it holds it for a long time, longer than the German steel. And I started doing more research and figured out that this Shogun thing, they were really onto something. And I reached out to Dahlstrong. Uh, you know, they like, uh, they like the videos, they watch the channel, they like seeing the display of knives behind me. And so we worked out a deal. They, they sent me a couple of knives to start upgrading my collection. And also uh, they set up a discount code for you, the same discount code EMV10 that you can use for Grow Blazer and Meat and Bone and Kick-Ash Basket and the other sponsors. So if you buy from Dahlstrong.com, you can use that coupon code. And I'll put a link down in the description uh, just in case you don't have it. So let's take a look at the two knives that they sent me. And this is a first peek. So I took the plastic off, but I haven't peeked inside here. Let's see what we got. Now, by the way, all of their packaging is absolutely amazing. Um, not that the packaging matters in a knife performance, but it shows that they have some respect for their product. So uh, we've got, of course, the uh, Shogun series book. All the knives come with a cleaner, uh, a warning card here. I'll put a picture of the warning card up on the screen, uh, but some of the highlights here, hand wash, um, uh, not intended for Mortal Kombat. <laughs> K 
keep out of reach of children and your enemies. Don't lend FNGs on the line. If you don't know what an FNG is, uh, private message me and I'll explain it. And then each of the different series have a pin uh, that they come with. This is the Shogun series pin. I don't, I don't really wear these, but it's, uh, it's nice. And of course, there's the knife. Now this is the six inch bony knife. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. If you guys can see here, you can see the difference in the steel. Here's the six inch Gladiator. The six inch Gladiator has a 56 Rockwell hardness, uh, which means it's hard, but it's a soft enough metal that it's gonna bend. You can work around chicken bones, things of that nature easy. This is a 62 hardness, but this is 67 layers of Japanese AUS-10 steel uh, that is forged. It's nitrogen cooled to get the maximum hardness. And, uh, oh boy, this is a thing of beauty. I can't wait to uh, use this. And by the way, I'm gonna be filming another video where I'm gonna use this and the other knife we're gonna open in a little bit. But super happy with this from Dahlstrong. Great company, by the way. Some of the best customer service that you've ever had. Um, so let's take a look at the other knife. This knife I'm very excited about. Same book, same instructions. This one's also not for Mortal Kombat or your enemies. Another pin, another polishing cloth. Okay, now let's take a look. Are you guys ready for this? Oh, look at that. So this is a 10 inch breaking chef's knife. Now notice it's got those same indentations, but you can also see the Damascus steel and the layers, same 67 layers, same hardness. This is gonna be a knife that I'm gonna use for things like cutting up roasts or big cuts. Um, it is super sharp and it's gonna maintain its edge. Same quality as the boning knife that I showed you over here. Uh, it's really something special. So when I carve up a prime rib in the next video, you're gonna see that I actually use the boning knife to remove the bones and then I use this breaking chef's knife to cut it into steaks. You'll see that when, uh, when we put it out there. So from a cost perspective, one of the reasons that Dahlstrong has been so successful is that they've taken this super expensive knife market and they've found a way to drive the cost down while keeping the quality the same. So let's put that in perspective. This six inch boning knife, this Gladiator is $60 retail. Uh, of course you get a discount if you use code EMV10, whereas this six inch Shogun is a hundred dollar knife. So not quite twice as expensive, but materially more. Definitely a big difference in quality. If we compare the chef's knife to the eight inch chef's knife from the Gladiator, or actually they have a breaking knife that's the Gladiator chef's knife. The breaking knife is about $70 uh, on dollstrong.com without the discount. And the Shogun series is about 120. So again, not quite twice as expensive, but $120 is not a lot of money for a Japanese steel knife, right? So you're talking about comparing this to like the Miyabi Black, which is a $540 knife that is gonna have similar function to what this is gonna have. And uh, this is gonna retain the edge the same way. Yeah, there's, there's some benefits to going with a $500 knife, but I'm not buying $500 knives. I don't know if you're buying $500 knives. And this is, uh, I think, the best price performance that you can get. Now, of course, I haven't used this yet, and we'll see how it works in those future videos, so make sure you subscribe and stick around and see those. But I think that we're gonna see a big difference. Like, the Gladiator and the Germans are 14 to 16 degree edge on each side. These are tight. This is an eight to 12 degree edge. So call it an average of 10 degree angle on the edge of the knife. It's gonna retain its edge forever, but it is gonna be a little bit more difficult to sharpen than the Gladiator knife. So while I use a WorkSharp E5 sharpener generally to keep these done, and uh, every once in a while I hit them with stones, I am gonna have to sharpen these Japanese knives with stones to get that perfect edge and get it right every time. Speaking of which, by the way, I've got this Gladiator sharpening kit. Um, this uh, I paid for, they didn't send this to me, but a really good way to get started if you wanna learn to sharpen with whetstones. I'm not gonna do a video on how to sharpen with whetstones because I'm not an expert and there's some real experts out there on YouTube. If you want some suggestions, leave a comment. I'll, I'll show you who the folks are that I watch. But this is a great way to get started and everything from the acacia base to the thick and extra wide whetstones makes it a lot easier when you've got a task like sharpening these Japanese knives. I am super 
super excited about these. And if you decide you want to get either the Gladiators, which are wonderful knives, or the Shoguns, which take it up a whole nother level, remember to use discount code EMV10 at dollstrong.com or click the link down in the description and use that uh, discount code. If you enjoyed this video, I've got lots of other videos about the tools that I use both in the kitchen and in the backyard. I'll put one of them right here. Uh, check that one out next. And if you've already seen that one, check this one out down here. I think you're going to like it. We'll see you next time on Eat More Vegans.